the Cincinnati Zoo and crew teamed up with the Montgomery Zoo to produce the first calf of any rhino species to be born and thrive in a U.S. zoo as the result of artificial insemination. So we're very excited. Um, this results in the first pregnancy outside of Cincinnati that's occurred. And while we'd love to have a baby Indian rhino here in Cincinnati, um, we're very excited for Montgomery Zoo and so thrilled to be able to see the baby in person, bonding with its mom, and learning everything it needs to know about being an Indian rhino. There's about 2,500 Indian rhinos in the wild and there's 60 Indian rhinos in captivity in North America. And our captive population serves as a safety net for those animals in the wild. And so we need to be sure that our captive population has the best gene diversity possible. And in order to do that, we need each individual to reproduce. But unfortunately, what happens with Indian rhinos is they can have behavioral incompatibility. So the male and female you choose genetically may not get along behaviorally. So that's why we've been introducing artificial insemination to be able to minimize the risk to those rhino pairs and be able to produce genetically healthy and viable offspring. This project really shows that collaboration among zoos such as Montgomery Zoo and the Cincinnati Zoo can really bring about significant impacts for the conservation of endangered species like Indian rhinos.